Countdown to liftoff. After a five day delay, NASA's Artemis 1 mission is now just hours away from launch. It's the first step towards putting us back on the moon with an eye towards Mars. ABC's Gio Benitez is at Cape Canaveral with Lieutenant Colonel Anne McLean, a NASA astronaut and Artemis team member. Good morning, Gio. Eva, good morning to you. Yes, an exciting day here. And again, we are with Lieutenant Colonel Anne McLean, a decorated astronaut here at NASA, but also in line to someday go to the moon. How are you feeling right now? Well, this is a really exciting day um, for really all of NASA, all of our international partners. And in the astronaut office, we're pretty ecstatic. Yeah, and, and why is this so important? Because a lot of people look at this and they say, we've been to the moon before, why are we going back? Sure, yeah, first of all, if you th think about the Earth, imagine landing, you know, six times on the Earth, how much of the Earth story could you tell? You know, the, the moon has very diverse geology, so we're gonna land in a different area. We're also gonna do it with our international partners. We're gonna do a prolonged campaign, not just to put a boot print on the moon, but to have a sustained presence on the moon, to test a lot of the technologies that could someday get us to Mars and to give our geologists times to really dig into the South Pole of the Moon and find what resources are there and what stories it tells us about the origins of our universe. And I know you are most excited about that South Pole. Why is that? Well, the South Pole is very different than the other landing sites that we've had. Um, there's a potential for energy sources um, such as water, hydrogen and oxygen that we could actually use to support a sustained presence. It also has really interesting lighting. Um, so the, the, the sun is basically at a 90 degree angle. So we have uh, lit regions and dark regions. We haven't actually been to the dark regions of the moon. So there's some very interesting preserved geology in those areas that uh, I would love to bring back and give to some of our geologists. That's right, because if you essentially want to use the moon as a layover spot to go to Mars, Having those resources right there, that's pretty amazing. And that's what this is all about. That's right. And creating the technologies where we can actually use those resources uh, in, to our use. What do you think is happening right now inside Launch Control? Yeah, well, I tell you, on a big day like this, you know, there's a lot of excitement outside. But inside, there, it's all business. Um, this is an enormous rocket. It's 322 feet. And so if you go downtown and you go to a 30-story building, I want somebody to look at a 30-story building today and picture that every square inch of that building has some type of fuel, some type of sensor, some type of control and valve. And our mission control right now is looking at every single one of those for the health of the vehicle as we begin this tanking process this morning. Oh, well, hopefully we do this interview on the moon next time. How yes. about that? Uh, hey, come along. <laughs> All right, Anne McLean, thank you so much. Thank you. Eva. We were just talking about if we would go yeah. to the moon. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.